hello um everything there's a glare i'm sorry but everything in my house right now is in boxes and there's bubble wrap like there's some by my foot right now like that's bubble wrap <laughs> um but yes we didn't have any food either so i'm gonna take my glasses off but i went to trader joe's to change that i have like one two three four five bags so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a speed haul I bought these Madeline's. I've already opened and had two on the drive. Very good. Very tasty. I always get the pasture-raised eggs. It's just my preference. I, I don't like eating... Well, before buying these, I never enjoyed eating eggs. I thought eggs were nasty. They tasted nasty. And then I tried pasture-raised, and that's all I eat now. Bought some baby spinach. Goat cheese and some dried tomato ravioli. I've never tried this before. This cold press green juice beverage, vegetable fried rice, noodles, some cow chicken, super good, very spicy. Well, not very spicy, but it's pretty spicy. It's really good. My favorite coconut water from Trader Joe's. Very, very good. Very, very affordable compared to other brands. One bag down, cold brew bags. I'm actually gonna do one right now. I have the Emma Chamberlain ones and I kinda wanna try these ones, so. Leave that out. Sparkling grapefruit water. I watch, um, what's her name on TikTok? Bria. I watch her on TikTok and a lot of these things are influenced by her. So she mentioned that this is very, very good and spicy. Like the carbonation is great. So I love fizz. I love pop. I love soda. Like I love it all. So of course I'm gonna try this. I got some vegetable wash peach halves um i also love the jar so i'm gonna keep this jar and use it for like iced lattes got some alfredo sauce chili crunch onion this stuff is so good i got two things of coconut milk coconut aminos so good we relied on this so much when we were paleo and it's like one thing that we continue to buy ever since going paleo um, we're not paleo anymore. We did a whole 30 paleo for 30 days, obviously. Um, but a lot of my meals are influenced by that. Tortilla chips. Avocados. These are baby avocados, I think. Oh, they're teeny tiny avocados. Cute. Lemons and limes. A shallot, garlic, chives. I'm doing the green goddess salad. Green goddess, is that what it's called? Salad. Another TikTok thing. I don't know if I already said that, but I'm gonna try it. This is my favorite thing to drink from Trader Joe's. It's just like their Arnold Palmer. It's organic black tea, lemonade, you know? It's so good. It's my favorite thing ever, truly. Like every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get one of these. Bag number two down. Two more to go. Got some sourdough bread. I wanna do um Bria's avocado toast because that looks really good so got that bananas i i kind of like the pasture raised eggs i don't like bananas unless they're organic bananas for whatever reason i can taste the difference and i like organic bananas way more the taste of it i don't know why teeny tiny cukes cabbage and uh parmesan cheese i've been searching high and low for this brown sugar oat milk creamer so i got two and the girl at the register was like this is really good and i was like okay i'm hoping that it's good so i got two and i'm gonna put this in the cold brew that i bought so i'm really 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 excited so bag, bag number four popcorn it's organic popcorn with organic extra virgin olive oil. Well, I wonder if it's made with it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's really good. I'm like, I'm not like a healthy person, but I definitely know what's good and what's not. I have a lot of that knowledge. <laughs> um, but this is really healthy. It's a healthier popcorn. If anything is in olive oil, that's a lot healthier than like canola oil, for example. You know. But these are olive oil kettle chips from Trader Joe's. Another healthier option for chips. 
rice vinegar. Does this need to be refrigerated after opening? Hmm, I think I'm just gonna keep it in the fridge. Cashews for the salad. Corn chili. It's like a salsa, but like corn base. It, when I saw this, um, it reminded me of Chipotle's corn salsa. So we'll see how that tastes. I got coconut cream. This was a Kristen John's influence. She puts this in her matcha and I want to try that. And taco seasoning. Oh no, wait, I have more seasonings. Onion salt because we were out. And then the reason why I went to Trader Joe's was because I saw on Instagram that they had dill pickle seasoning and I've always wanted dill pickle seasoning for popcorn so I bought that popcorn to put dill seasoning on it and it's called seasoning in a pickle um I can smell it so I don't know I love pickles so much my mouth is watering but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try the salsa really quick I have this bag of chips that I've already opened I love corn. Obviously, I love popcorn. Corn chips. Mmm. What? It's like a sweet, spicy. This is so good. Guys, I've missed you guys so much. So I'm so excited to have my own space and vlog more. I'm a homeowner. So weird. But for now, our space looks very, very chaotic. So. Once I, we're all settled, the vlogs will be coming and it'll be grand. I'm gonna go ahead and start dicing up those vegetables for the green goddess salad. The snack on all weekend. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I miss you guys. I really do miss you guys. I miss vlogging. I miss talking to you guys. Morning, it is now the next day. I made a little cold brew with the cold brew bags from Trader Joe's. And then I put some oat milk creamer, this kind. So tasty, so tasty. Um, and right now, I also had breakfast. I made breakfast. I made like a TikTok breakfast. I'll insert a picture here. And then I'll link the TikTok too. Oh, I should do that. It's the same girl that I talked about yesterday. Why am I holding the camera like that? Her name's Bria. Oh, I know why I'm holding the camera. Okay, much better. Um, what else am I gonna do? I'm like, I need to give you guys a rundown because I'm finally gonna edit footage that I have that I never really uploaded. So I'm gonna do that. I have a lot of footage. I'm gonna make myself a little bowl of popcorn with uh, pickle seasoning. So I'm gonna have that snack on that while I edit videos today or this morning. I'm getting my nails done with my friend Jenna at 12.30. Oh my gosh, it's 11.21. So yeah, talk to you guys later. I am currently getting ready. I'm doing laundry. Need to close the door. I'm currently getting ready to go to work. Um, and figured I would chat with you guys while I did my makeup. Can you hear the washing machine? I'm so sorry. Is this a good angle? I don't know, but we're gonna have to work with it. Um, I've got my Hocus Pocus mirror. I already put on powder foundation i have been loving where is it uh -huh. behind that camera i've been loving the rare beauty foundation but it's not my shade it's complicated i've been loving this stuff despite not it not being my shade i'm gonna close the door just in case not just in case but because of the washer okay much better and then i put on glossy a powder on and I'm like finishing up bronzer with the Too Faced Sweet Tea bronzer. I love this stuff so much. I've had it forever because I, well, I have a lot of brown bronzers. I have a lot of makeup. While I was talking to my friend Sam and I was like, I should do a declutter for my lipsticks because I want to start fresh. And she was like, you should film that. So a makeup declutter will be coming soon. Hopefully soon. I shouldn't say soon, but it'll be coming out sometime. Yeah, just sometime. Um, what else do I need? Sorry, I feel like, I feel very rushed because normally when I do my makeup for work, I'm like incredibly rushed for time, but I don't go in until like two, three hours from now. I just like want to, just want to 
I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, how are you guys? How have you guys been? There has been a lot on my end um, that I want to chat about because I haven't filmed in a long time. I don't know what video order this will be in, but basically, as of today, today is May 26th, as of today, on my channel, um, I was living with roommates um, while Justin and I were um, looking for a home to live in, to buy, etc. And we have said home. So we're homeowners and it's very exciting, very intimidating, very stressful, but very exciting. I'm very grateful. I've also quit my job and I have a new job. And just for like privacy reasons, I won't say like where I work obviously or where I previously worked in case I, just privacy reasons, you know? Um, I need to put on blush, but I don't know what blush I'm going to wear today. My friend Jenna gave me this blush, Rose de Oro, de Oro, if you want to see it in Spanish. And I kind of want to play with graphic liner, so let me go grab that really quick. I got my friend um, Stacy Asuva palette. It's not this one, it's a different one with different colors. Um, but this is the one that I have and hello setup. Um, this is the one that I have and yeah, like I'm really into graphic liners right now. I have my little glass. It's like playing watercolor. I'm not good at it though. I'm not good at, at it at all, but I will get there eventually. Just, it takes practice. Oh. I ended up opening the door because Donto kept crying. Um, so I just left it open. So sorry if you hear the wash I'm going crazy. I I don't know if I just want to do eyeliner. Do I want to do shadows too? Let me go look at my palettes. Okay, so I have three palettes. I kind of want to do yellow liner and like a purple shimmer look at this they're all color pop palettes by the way they're all nostalgic palettes too which is why i bought them okay so this palette does not have a purple shimmer it has a pink one though it's not purpley so i'm not gonna use this um i've got a lizzie mcguire palette Ooh. okay this one has potential this one has a purple shimmer Oh, I might use this one. Okay, I might use this one. And then I have my Sailor Moon palette. Ooh, okay, this one. Okay, I took a shadow off, but ignore that. Um, This one has this shimmer. That's purple, so. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go with this palette instead. Let me go put these bad boys back. So I currently am obsessed for graphic looks um i'm obsessed with giovanna on youtube and she is just so incredible um i'm gearing towards a purple shimmery lid with a yellow graphic eyeliner because it it'll match the shirt now i'm wondering should i do a yellow shimmer with a purple liner because these are primary colors i can mix it's just like playing watercolors. Did you ever play with watercolors as a kid? If you're not an artist, did you ever do that? And if you're an artist, did you ever do that? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stick with the yellow liner and purple shimmer. But I don't know what kind of liner look I wanna do. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna mess up a lot, warning. I will mess up a lot because again, again I'm not good. I'm not good at this. I suck. But with graphic liner, like, you you can suck, basically. You can definitely suck, and there's always room for mistakes and growth. And cleanups are way easier than, like, regular eyeshadow would be. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Okay. 
what's hard about this one though this palette is that the yellow is really hard to get hi baby the perfect consistency so that's my only gripe with this palette you can hardly see you can hardly tell but that's okay that's okay again this yellow is really hard to work with i don't know if all yellows are like that if you are a graphic liner profesh let me know and if you are a graphic eyeliner profesh and you are recommending me glisten cosmetics say no more i ordered from glisten it's just a matter of it arriving to my house you know i think it's my brush that's giving me issues one last time i need to be okay i'm gonna get this like this brush i got this on an ipsy bag ages ago it's from the brand mally i don't know if they're still around i'm gonna go in with that sailor moon color it's called luna oh my gosh it is so pretty i should have put on a primer because i do have oily lids um do you guys have any life update questions for me let's talk about my work work was very hard and so i left my job for lots of reasons and then i got a new job i mean it's all in the same realm what were you doing mister he was in the bathroom okay will it adjust i'm gonna go ahead and fix it i'll see you guys later hello i'm back um fix the eye look i don't know if i came in and like showed that already and then i put on a lip this is the shade me by colourpop and zoella um I, they don't make this shade anymore unfortunately but it's my favorite shade right now i have a very long very eventful weekend um i'll try to vlog some clips too of that this might be a really long vlog good morning i'm currently listening to a podcast that's what you hear i'm gonna turn it off in a second but i was making my coffee and i was like you know what this would be cute vlog footage but anyway i'll go ahead and show you so i have this glass that i got at disney world from the food and wine festival that i thought was so cute and i literally had coffee in mind um when I bought this. Sorry I'm out of breath, I just ran down the stairs obviously as you saw. Um, and I have heart-shaped ice cubes. I made a huge thing of cold brew. I didn't uh, vlog that, but I used cold brew bags. They look like this. Wait, I think I, yeah I vlogged this. Did I vlog that? I definitely vlogged a haul, but the recipe calls for two bags, but I only used one. And I do three cups of water, steep it for like 12 hours in the fridge. Anyway, gosh, that smells so good. Okay, let's do a little coffee pour. And this is concentrate, so you definitely need to dilute with water. I honestly eyeball it. I don't know how many parts water to cold brew. There's definitely a recipe out there. I just literally don't know and then i'm going to be using some of this creamer that i love it's not measured i just have it in that because i like the spout here's a cutie little silicone straw honestly i feel like i just eyeball the color oh my gosh that is perfect Oh, I love it. It's so cute, too. This should be my thumbnail. That should be my thumbnail, huh? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, yeah. 